the iPhones are known for taking amazing pictures. However, your photos might need some tweaking after you've taken them. Today, I'm going to go through our favorite photo editing apps for the iPhone. But before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss out on our content. Starting off, I have to mention the native Apple Photos app. It might sound too simple for some of you, but the available editing tools are actually great and allow you to adjust many aspects needed for basic photo editing. Apple allows you to adjust the exposure, brilliance, highlights, shadows, contrast, color, temperature, tint. You can also crop or rotate your images and a lot more. The best part is that it's a built-in iPhone app integrated with your camera 100% free and enough for basic photo editing. The only downsides are that editing is too basic and you cannot add masks or anything too fancy and the built-in filters are not the best. The second app on the list is Visco, one of the most popular photo editing apps. I've used it for years and I love how the free version is jam-packed with filters, presets and tools. This allows you to really improve your photos without paying anything. One feature I love is that you can adjust the intensity of a preset if you want a softer look and if you decide to upgrade to Visco Plus, you'll get access to their complete library of presets. Besides the majority of tools offered in Visco, such as exposure, contrast, and temperature adjustments are available in the free version. So if you just want to sweeten up the colors of your photos and don't need any borders or text, the free version should be enough for you. Next, there's Facetune. What I love about it is that it allows me to fix small imperfections on selfies, such as blemishes or teeth whitening, and even remove unwanted objects from photos. These features work really well, and additionally, there is now a great AI-based photo editor. Take it or leave it, but I do like having the option to fix minor things in a photo. However, I highly recommend tweaking your photos with caution because it can easily look super fake and artificial. And I would say the only downside is that you need a subscription to access many of the features and it's a little bit on the pricey side. Now, if you found duplicates or similar photos in your camera roll and want to free up some space, you can use the Clean My Phone app to quickly do this. I've included a link down below in the description for you to download it, or you can scan this code with your iPhone to get the app. Once you open Clean My Phone, you will see the declutter option, which analyzes and sorts your media files, selecting those you may not want to keep any longer, including duplicates, blurred photos, and screenshots. And there's also the Organize module, which shows you stuff that you might want to organize and similar photos that might not be that relevant for you. After the scan is complete on both of these modules, you will have the option to tap on each of the categories of clutter to deselect the ones that you want to keep, or you can go ahead and clean it all. Going back to photo editing apps, the fourth on the list is Lightroom, and it is by far my favorite. It offers a full set of tools for professional photo editing like masks and brushes, along with all the basics. You can use it on your smartphone, computer, or tablet, and it edits raw photos. Compared to Photoshop, Lightroom is more basic, but I love how intuitive it is to use. Lightroom offers a lot of features in the free version, but you need to upgrade or log into your Adobe account for full access. Also, it's important to consider that the mobile version is different from the desktop one, with more features available in the desktop version. And last but not least, there's Snapseed. It has a clean and simple interface and offers a lot of filters and editing tools. The best thing about it is that it's completely free, so you can use all the tools without worrying about a subscription. The app offers all the basics along with tools like the healing brush and selective color adjustments for more precise edits. I would say the only downsides are that the app is rarely updated and it isn't as intuitive as some other photo editing apps. Now, before I conclude, what is your favorite photo editing app? Let us know down below in the comment section. Also, make sure to check out our video on how to edit photos on iPhone as well. The link is included in the description below. And there you have it. These are our five favorite photo editing apps for the iPhone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you stay in the loop for all things iPhone. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.